Hello guys. So today I just wanted to I'm <coughs> sorry, I'm sick. Um today I wanted to read something that I found on Tumblr. It's pretty long, so I would just read some things from it. And then I will link put a link in the description to the post on Tumblr. So you can read by yourself. Well I will start now so you can watch later. You can read later or just do it now. And just skip this video. Um, it's about when you want to like. I will, I will read it and yeah. Alternatives for when you're feeling angry or restless. Um, scribble on photos of people in magazines. Viciously stab an orange. Throw an apple pair of socks against the wall. Have a pillow fight with the wall, scream very loudly, tear apart to newspapers, photos or magazines. Go to the gym, dance or exercise. Listen to music and sing along loudly. Draw a picture of what is making you angry. Beat up, beat up a soft bear. Pop bubble wrap. Pop balloons. Splatter paints. Um, go for a run, write your feelings on paper, then rip it up. Use stress relievers. Throw ice cubes at the bathtub wall, at a tree, etc. Uh, cut up fruits. Play handball or tennis. Um, it's a lot more, so you can read it later. Alternatives that will give you a sensation other than pain without harming yourself. Hold ice in your hands, against your arm or in your mouth. Run your hands under freezing cold water. Wax your legs. Wax your legs. Drink freezing cold water. Splash your face with cold water. Put um, PVA Elmer's glue on your hands then peel it off. Massage when you want to hurt yourself. Take a hot shower bath. Put tiger balm on the places you want to cut. A tiger balm is a muscle relaxant cream that includes induces a tingly sensation. You can find it in most health food stores and vitamin stores. Yes, um, alternatives that will distract you or take up your t take up time. Say. I'll self harm in 15 minutes if it, I still want to, and keep going for periods of 15 minutes until the urge fades. Color your hair. Count up to 10, getting louder until you're screaming. Sing on the karaoke machine. Complete something you've been putting off. Take up a, a new hobby. Make a cup of tea. Tell a lot of jokes. Play solitaire. Count off. Count out. Count up to 500 or 1000. Surf the net. Actually, that's a pretty good thing you can do, like Tumblr. That takes hours, really. Um. Count ceiling tiles or lights. Search ridiculous uh, things on the web. Call up an old friend. Go people watching. Carry safe rather than sharp things in your pockets. Do schoolwork. Cook. Make origami to occupy your hands. Play a sport. Read a book, magazine. Do a crossword. Draw a comic strip. Knit, sew, or make a necklace. Hunt for things on eBay or Amazon. Browse the forums. Learn to swear in another language. Look up words in a dictionary. Play hide and seek with your siblings. Plan a party. Finish homework before it's due. Go on YouTube. Make a scrapbook. Color in a picture or a coloring book. Um, learn halt signals. Uh, hungry, angry, lonely, tired. Take a small step towards a goal you have. There's a lot more. It goes on and on. Um, alternatives that are completely bizarre, at, le at least, and you'll have a lot. Crawl on all four, force and bar bark like a dog or another animal. 
run around outside screaming, laugh for more for no reason whatsoever, make a funny face in a mirror, blow bubbles, pull weeds in the garden. Alternatives uh, for when you're feeling guilty, sad or lonely. Draw or paint, paint, look at the sky, call a friend and ask for company. Uh, buy a cuddly toy. Give someone a hug with a smile. Put a face mask on. Watch a favorite TV show or movie. That's, a, that's actually what I do. I like to watch like Doctor Who or Sherlock. Um, eat something ridiculously sweet. Treat yourself to some chocolate. Look at things that are special to you. Compliment someone else. Make sculpt sculptures. Watch fish. Let yourself cry. Play with a pet. Have her give a mess massage. Mess Go chat in the chat room and accept a gift from a friend. Take a hot bath with bath oil or bubbles. Make a tray of special treats and tuck yourself into bed with it and watch TV or read. Alternatives for when you're feeling panicky or scared. See, hear and feel five things and then four, then three and count down to one which will make you focus on your surroundings and will calm you down. Listening to soothing music, have a CD with motivational songs that you can listen to, meditate to your meditate or do yoga. Name all of your soft toys, hug a pillow or soft toy, hyper focus on something, drink herbal tea, crunch ice, hug a tree, go for a walk if it's safe to do so, put your feet firmly on the floor. Accept where you are in the process, beating yourself up only makes it worse. Touch something familiar, safe, leave the room. Give yourself permission to keep it safe. Alternatives that will hopefully make you think twice about harming yourself. Think about how you don't want scars. Treat yourself nicely. Rem remember that you don't have to hurt yourself just because you're thinking about self-harm. Create a safe place to go. Acknowledge that self-harm is a harmful behavior. Say, I want to hurt myself rather than I want to cut. Repeat to yourself, I don't deserve to be hurt, even if you don't believe it. Avoid temptation. Be with other people. Make your own list of things to do instead of self-harm. Make a list of your positive character traits. Be nice to your family who in return will hopefully be nice to you. Notice choices versus dilemmas. Lose the should could have two words. Try what if. Kiss the places you want to... I'm sorry, I can read that. Choose your way of thinking, try to resist following or all the thinking patterns. The butterfly project. Draw a butterfly on the place is um, that you would self-harm, and if the butterfly fails without self-harming, it means it has lived and flown away, giving a sense of achievement. Whereas if you do, do self-harm with the butterfly there, you'll have to wash it off. If that does happen, you can start again by drawing a new one on. You can name the butterfly after someone you love. <sighs> um. Alternatives that give this illusion of seeing something familiar to blood. Cover yourself with plasters where you want to cut. Give yourself a henna or fake tattoo. Make wounds with makeup like lipstick. Paint yourself with red tempera paint. Cut your skin with nail polish. It feels cold but it's hard to get off. Um, alternatives to help you sort through the, your feelings. Phone a friend and talk to them. Make a collage of how you feel. Negotiate with yourself. Ide identify what is hurting so bad that you need to express it in this way. Write your feelings in a diary. Free write. Write down whatever you're thinking at the moment, even if it doesn't make sense. Make a make lists of everything such as blessings in your life. Call a hotline. Write a letter to someone telling them how you feel, but you don't have to send it. 
if you decide not to. That's actually really good. Things you can do. Um, I'm sorry for my English. I'm from Sweden, so it's not that good as in America or in England. But yeah, um, I hope you will like this video. I've been thinking a lot about self harming, and um, actually, these things helps. Um, actually, when I read this, I figure out that I actually have started with this by myself. Maybe you have to. But like the best thing I can give you is if you if this doesn't work any of this, just breathe in and breathe out. That's a picture. Ah, to this post. Breathe in, breathe out. Um so yeah. Hope you like this video and please don't do self harm. It's not the it's really not the best thing to do when you're feeling low and if you need someone to talk to you can always talk to me on my Tumblr or here on YouTube. I'm not very good on Twitter so don't try with that so yeah. I'll see ya, bye!